Well, hey friends, I went to the health food store today um, and I picked up some things and I thought I would share with you what I picked up. If you like this type of video, please just give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you go to the health food store or the natural store and you get certain products, I'd love to know what you get because I love to go in there and just browse around and look at all the things, but I don't know all the time what's good and what's not. So if you have any thoughts, fill me in. Okay, so I went in looking for this specific pasta and it was 50% off. So this is Dreamfield's pasta. This is Trim Healthy Mama approved. It is um, a healthy carb pasta. Um, diabetics often eat this because it does not spike blood sugar. Um, you can't heat it up, or excuse me, let me rephrase that. So once you've cooked it, you can't reheat it because it loses the special coating that is on the pasta. But for a single use pasta, you know, like spaghetti and meatballs or even a casserole or a pasta salad or something like that, um, this stuff is amazing and it tastes exactly like regular pasta. Uh, it's so, so good. Um, my family can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. It's great. So I often pick this up when we, when we go to the States. Um, and I visit my family or my husband crosses the border or something. I'm always like pick up dream fields because you can get it at Walmart for just a couple dollars um, We've even picked it up for a little over a dollar So it's very comparable to regular price pasta, but here in Canada at my local health food store It's five dollars and 25 cents a box so I am actually trying I'm in the process of building up our pantry right now so I decided to go into the health food store and pick up a couple of boxes. I intended to maybe get three and found a whole a lot more. <laughs> so again, they were all 50% off. I got two rotini, one penny, three elbow macaronis, and two, four, six spaghettis. They also had angel hair pasta. Um, and I'm thinking I may actually go back because pasta lasts forever um but i ended up putting a lot of other things in my cart so <laughs> my bill was a bit higher than i had originally anticipated um i also picked up this now brand stevia i'm hoping this is good i've never tried liquid stevia before but i would like to try it in my drinks i also sweeten plain yogurt with you know just like trivia or trim healthy mama gentle sweet or super sweet blend, something like that, and it's a granulated um, sweetener. So I was hoping that the liquid stevia would just blend a little bit better and not make my yogurt kind of greeny and stuff like that. So here's the hoping that this is good. I also got the kids um, these gummies. They are Halloween gummies, and I like them because they have no synthetic colors. My son seems to be really sensitive to added colors in products so I'm trying to be very careful about what he has as far as like candy and popsicles and things like that with their you know red dyes and different things like that um, these are also allergy friendly we don't have allergies but um, anyways these are good I bought them two packs I split the two packs between them I counted out the gummies that were in here and there were 21 so mommy ate one and they each had 10 <laughs> Okay, so here's the rest of the pasta. And then over here. So I they have um, an area of Pacifica makeup. And they have testers. And they had all of these perfumes. And um, I was smelling some of the roller balls. But then they also had the spray perfumes um, in the roller ball scents. And I don't know, but I fell in love with this Tahitian gardenia. I find that gardenia, the smell of gardenias, is very strong and I don't really like it in sort of like a candle form or anything like that but I loved this and I and I sprayed some on me and I could not stop smelling myself throughout the store it smelled so good so I was like I need you to come home with me and be a little treat for myself I've gotten rid of a lot of my um, body sprays and things like that I just have one or two left and I have two um, nice perfumes that my husband has bought me so I just kind of pretended this is his little gift for me um, quote unquote he bought me a perfume 
you know, with this paycheck. Um, then I got some calendula flowers. So these are dried calendula flowers. I'm going to make um, calendula oil. And I'm also going, I am going to make um, just some different salves and things like that with them. I am not going to need this whole bag, but it is what it is. They were, this was, I think, less than $5. I also picked up some beeswax. This is just like a little beeswax bee. It was $1.50. I have a couple of these on hand on already, but like I said, I'm going to start making some salves and things. It is getting cold and my hands are getting dry and I'm going to need some kind of balm or lotion or something like that. And beeswax is great for that. So I can just grate this up. Um, it's a few, several tablespoons of wax for buck fifty is good. I love this Nature's Aid stuff. This is so, so amazing. So this is like an aloe vera type gel. So there's aloe vera, tea tree, vitamin E, and rosemary in here. And this is wonderful. This is the best for chapped skin. Oh my goodness. This also comes in like really big bottles, but the really big bottles are just out of my budget. This was $3 as in it, of itself, like which is a lot, but um, I just wanted to have a little bit of this on hand. And then lastly, I picked up some cocoa butter. So like I said, I'm going to start making some um, lotions and potions and different things like that. And I have shea butter on hand. I've got coconut oil. I've got a whole bunch of different types of oil. But I needed cocoa butter, so I picked up some cocoa butter to make my stuff. So anyways, that is my quick little haul at the... Um, health food store. My dog is barking. She is ready to eat. So it's time to say goodbye. Hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you later. Bye.